Hey everybody, this is Michael T. Bradley, and welcome back to another... I don't know, we don't really... We're not calling this anything, just... Yeah. This... <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, joining me this time is... Skix Maddox, raconteur and Gad About Town. Today we're going to try taking on Heart of China. This is Perizing, same person who's uh, who did the Gabriel Knight playthrough that uh, Ford and I are doing. Anyway, uh, or Jay Wilford, uh, as you may know him. So, let's go ahead and just dig right into it, what do you say? Sure. And we're rolling Dynamics, Heart of All the right. Sierra Family. Yeah, I was a huge Dynamics fan back in the day. Um, really, really enjoyed them. I, they did the first, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, the first of the uh, the Pandora Directive and all that. Mean Streets. They did Mean Streets. Uh-oh. I'd feel I smarter we, if I could read that. I think we might be... I think we might I, I, We might get some racism here. What do you think? Uh, it's the, the probability is high, I'd say. All right, so this guy's thrusting his crotch at us right from the beginning. Ah, uh, those sexy, sexy jodhpurs. They look great on everyone. <laughs> this, uh, so I guess we're going for kind of an Indiana Jones-ish feel with this dude? Yeah, though the music isn't very Indiana Jones. I'll they add like 12 bits. I feel like I should be making fun of their names, but there are no real funny ones going by. They are oh, Luckazuck? There's, I think there's uh, potential <laughs> well, when you say there. it that way, yeah. I keep looking out for, oh, is there going to be, like, a Michael Dorn in this one? But I don't think so. Tank sequence, Kevin Ryan. I'm already looking forward uh, to that. 3D graphics? Really? Apparently. Just one person's worth. Cyrus Kanga. I guess we could make fun of him, too. We could, but... Oh, he's all tuckered out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there, I got in one, one name joke. That's really all you need. These names are... Going by pretty fast, but... A lot I of guess, double uh, first name people. Christopher Steven, Kenneth Roger. Didn't really need all of these credits, but I guess Perzing was like, we're in it for the long haul here. God, those jodhpurs really are just... It looks like he has bad gout on his upper thigh. Or each testicle. That too. Just oh, here we go. High. Meanwhile in the Shire. <laughs> Nuns? Nuns. A nativity setting? <laughs> oh, no, okay, they're... What are they some child doing to that child? Leg. Oh, I guess in a village near Chengdu, Nurse Kate Lomax dresses a small boy's wound. This is Kate Lomax. Hi, Kate. This is... Nope. Somebody's oh. watching. Somebody evil. I got kind of a pubic vibe there until the nun appeared. <laughs> I had a nickel for every time I've said that. <laughs> You're your last patient, Nurse Kate. <laughs> I can't take You'll that. You make guy. a fine oh. addition to Lee Dang's collection. What was the tooth gleam? <laughs> oh, I want it. Not Brian Boitano, not Brian Bostwick. Who's the guy I want to reference there? Brian Blessed? Yeah, Brian Blessed, no. <laughs> Lee Dang has Lomax Girl. EA may have rescue operation in works. EA, the game company? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Kate Lomax, she too will pass. Gas. Oh god, social revolution was burning that ancient wisdom into the heart of China. Both highborn and humble knew their way of life was a relic as antiquated as the Forbidden City. Soon, relic would face revolution with a force that would shake even the foundations of the Great Wall. I don't know why I feel the need to annotate these, or to narrate these, I guess. Someone's gotta. Yeah, I guess for those who are just listening to us. But world events hardly touched lucky Jake Masters as he stared blankly at the waters of Hong Kong Harbor. He was also a relic. The Great War, the Great War air, race, air Ace once soared heroically over Europe. Now his airborne import flew paper parasols and silk dressing gowns out of the interior. And even that would end with the revolution. Silk dressing gowns? Apparently. Huh. Okay. I, uh... I guess if you don't read them out loud, we're just staring at blank at, at text for way long. Let me do this one. Of course, revolution didn't matter now. This morning, Lucky had fallen prey to the most threatening conqueror of all, big business. Really? International business tycoon and profiteer Eugene Adolphus Lomax III decided that Lucky was the flying boy to spirit his kidnapped daughter out of the interior. Lucky had the guts. Lucky had the piloting skill. Lucky owned the planes. And now EA Lomax owned Lucky. So, wait, we, we just... Oh, God, this Lomax guy just hires a pilot to be like, hey, 
You can fly a plane, go rescue my daughter? That seems to be the case, yes. This morning, Lomax met Lucky at the dock and sneered that he now held the bank loan on airborne import. To prove his power, Lomax ordered his goon, Quan, to lob a grenade and destroy Lucky's sampan? Suspiciously, the big-time smuggler also knew that Lucky's partner and secretary had skipped town yesterday with all the cash assets. Without money for the loan, airborne import was lost. Isn't sampan a boat? I don't know. I don't know. Go for it. Go, go fast. Oh, uh, but Lomax had a proposal. He gave Lucky $10,000 for supplies and promised $200,000 when Kate Lomax was safely returned. To speed Kate Lucky's... Lomax. Yeah. To speed Lucky's progress, Lomax would deduct $20,000 for each day needed to complete the rescue. Being in the hole, Lucky knew that that left him precious little margin of error. Lomax also, uh, also uh, moving along, also offered two tips. Start by talking to the renegade ninja Zhao Qi, and be sure Kate isn't harmed. If she were hurt, Lomax something, something, something. Okay, so I guess it's it's setting up kind of the the uh, um, uh, the parameters for the game, right? So it's like we have X days. Every day that passes, we could get a little less. Yeah. Lucky had no choice. In one morning, he lost his independence and the rest of his dwindling pride. He was just another scavenger like that seagull on the piling. <laughs> on the other hand, this might be the last chance for a lowlife scavenger to recapture his former glory. His former glory is what? As a pilot? I mean, I don't under... None of this makes much sense to me. There's his there's Sampan the and the seagull. Look at Sampan. Or Sap Sampan bobs in the azure waters. Poor Sap is you. I guess, yeah, play the game. Damn, those agents at food... This seagull is thinking this. Damn, those agents at Food and Show Insurance were right. Oh, shit. I, okay. The Going play, by a little fast, Perzing. Player reads fast. Screeches for a handout. Damn, okay, here, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll be the narrator and you be characters. Along uh, the waterfront, the influence of British rule and sterling is evident. Hong Kong is being built into an international airport or something. Scum of villainy. Doo doo. Okay. Doo doo the rickshaw. Cooley. Cooley was his name. Oh. His name, oh. I was waiting there. Yeah. A stray flyer from an import export company. Oh, we gotta get that stray flyer to give to. Wow, that's amazing. This is one of my flyers I put out last week. Wait a second. Is someone taking them down? If I catch that idiot, wham! Turn out the lights. Gotta read fast. <laughs> yeah. Just the right size to fold into something aesthetically pleasing. What? Make so a crane. What we're, we're gonna make like, <laughs> gonna make like a little paper airplane out of it. I think hey, I'm lucky. I'm just chilling here. His scarf's a little big, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's not like Tom Baker big. There it's we go. <laughs> it's like a bib, an airplane, of course. What else? So all we had to do was click that onto Lucky to get that to work. Demonstrating the principles of flight. Okay, I think we got to stop reading this now because the plot's kicking in, and it's uh, um, uh, I, people are just going to have to read along with us. So, I okay, so I guess we're we're already there. Like, I'm confused. Did did was Lucky in Hong Kong to begin with? I think so because he was looking out at the azure waters of Hong Kong Harbor. Oh, okay, Isn't right. Hong right. Kong an island? Pretty sure. Yeah. Hose bar. <laughs> Cheap laugh. Local riff raff occasionally. No, there's no riffing a, going on here. It's astounding. Pictured here, local riff raff. And a big red boob. Bahumat lives? The, the dragon from D D? That's Um Huh. Alright, good old ho. Ho ho. A little seasonal humor. <laughs> Don't don't forget to tip your hoe. Don't, don't tip her; she'll fall right over. Which one is hoe? Uh, a woman of questionable repute. Wow, you found one of those at hoes? That's shocking. How do you sit solicitously, anyway? <laughs> Does that mean she's soliciting, or? Yeah, I think she's, I, she's managing it. <laughs> she looks kind of funny with her like big head over her legs there. I was understand. Oh, thanks. So, like, if you fuck Rose, does that cost you, like, $2,000 after a day? <laughs> I don't know. This is Ho, the owner of Ho's. Okay. All right. He doesn't look like he's tended bar for 40 years. 
It really does not. It's like a teenager. <laughs> that, that is not a 60-year-old man. <laughs> maybe maybe between the text and the uh, casting, things got a little mixed up. I, possibly. So I guess we know all these people? I, I, I guess? No C. Of course they have to speak weird pigeon. I guess, what, to be fair, it is, what, like, 1943? But I don't know. Maybe that's not fair. I don't understand how things work. Well, the setting might be 1943, but the game wasn't made in 1943. Right. Oh, boy, wouldn't it... Just how horrible would it be if it were, though? <laughs> I I think it would be pretty damn impressive. I mean, they would have <laughs> made this on punch cards and stuff. Yeah. But it would have been twice as racist. So what do you think? Okay, so so far we don't really we only see Lucky in uh, like the inventory screen and like his strutting pose there at the beginning, and so he's so far like proposition this woman and then be like, you don't know what you're missing, babe, and and then with Benj Frank Benjamin Frankman, ouch, oh, that's uh, less said the better there. Um, the uh, is he is he meant to be more? Uh, Indiana Jones or more uh, uh, Ash from Evil Dead? I think the, the the text paints him as kind of a schmuck. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, Seymour Krellborn from <laughs> uh, Little Shop. Uh, all right. Yeah. Some, some mix of all of them. I like the text right over her head, too. That's <laughs> Goon. Goon's not even on the screen. Oh, yeah. Now that's somebody else. Oh, these men of Ill, re Ill repute have gotten up. You can tell because his shirt has no sides. <laughs> that is like a Victoria's Secret level shirt. It, it is. It's it's like a a bib. Yeah, that's. I never understood those. Uh, the I the, there's this like new fad the past ten years or so in lingerie of like exposing the sides of women's stomachs and I'm like this is like one of the most hated parts of most women's bodies you know like when did that become a fad like it seems as if lingerie might be being made by people who hate women these days these days yeah. uh, uh, I, I think they just had run out of body parts to feature so that's what's left the armpit <laughs> These people are very concerned about the fact that you might be bothering Ho asking about people he hasn't seen. Yeah. Zhao Chi, very private man. Oh, okay. Well, that seems fair enough. I don't want to bother him if he's a private man. Lomax, why does that name sound familiar? Um, it was my high school chemistry professor, but I'm assuming that's not the that's reason. probably not it. Willie, no, I'm thinking Willie Loman. Uh. Someone different. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Loman was obviously kind of what they had in mind for uh, <laughs> what Ho was supposed to be like. Yeah, clearly. Oh, oh ow, action. Lucky just scored a hit. Chi, who's that? This, this man is just named Chi. This is, I'm, I, you know, kudos to them for doing all the, like, real facial captures and everything, but I'm finding it kind of difficult to be swept up in any sort of action when it's just this, do, 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 <laughs> and, like, no voices, you know? Yeah. I still think Lucky is really, like, confusing as far as character goes. Oh, I because, agree. Because he's just... It's like he's he's punching the shit out of people for... I, I didn't even notice why. I mean, I think he was just like, I'm better than you, other race. But, um... <laughs> oh, wow. Here, okay. Um, this is all imperialism all over again. All over again? Well, imperialism continuing, still, continuing. It? You know, talk about Nurse Kate. Yes, Kate Lomax. I knew that was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> this game is like... 
whoever's playing this is a friggin' idiot and will never remember this ki this woman's name. We dink. De we we don't. I, okay, so we are an idiot then, I guess. I I'm sensing that, yeah. I'm like even I knew it was Lee Dang, and I'm terrible with names. But he got a cheap laugh with Dink. I guess so. D Link kind of sounded like like wasn't that a Nintendo thing? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But also, I, you reckless. Are you a little creeped out by how like they have this? Uh, like insert shot of his head but it's just slightly bigger than the rest like it's not really an insert shot it's just it's like they just blew up his head about 10 percent yeah yeah it's it's a it, it's weird looking i'm still tripping the light fantastic aren't i what the hell is with these choices what and okay so so far, we really don't... I mean, we picked up a flyer, but most of this just seems kind of dialogue-driven, which I guess is cool, but I wonder what happens if you take the wrong paths. I don't know. Our player is not going to show us, I suspect. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, this is just... This is a long play, no, no uh, uh, bad plays to it. Wow, we are, we are 16 minutes into this game, and so far... We're still just dinking around in a bar. We're Lee dinking around in a bar. <laughs> Five grand? Jesus, dude. Like, <laughs> let's start a little lower there. Yeah, let's just keep insulting everybody. Yeah. Bong. We you think very that's a quickly... What's that? You think that sound effect is a gong when it goes bwang? I think it's I think it's meant to be, and uh, I wonder if it's uh, uh, I wonder if it's like us getting points. Maybe arrow play. That's awful. That's oh, this is so insulting. Is him saying since uh meant to be like a joke about he can't remember if he's be if he's talking from the time that the game was made or the current day for the game? I don't know. I think. Well, okay, I guess that's not us getting a point. Good grief, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I like how he apparently keeps overemphasizing it. Yeah. Why is his crotch talking? Are, does this mean like, oh, you fucked up earlier, you should have taken notes in physics class? Oh, this is why oh, we have the paper airplane. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, and I thought that like showing a pocket watch to the natives in Pocahontas was bad. <laughs> Light it and on we fire. drop it? That's how we make it fly? We just drop it? Throw it at his face. I don't think... She doesn't get the concept of airplanes. I mean... Oh, see, that's that's a little in-joke, I think, because Dynamics, originally, their first things was they did 3D flight simulator, simulators. Uh, uh, geez, I hope this game doesn't have much oh, flight simulation. No, but apparently there's a tank section. Alet. Right. I just want to... Oh, I just... I want to punch somebody so hard for that. Oh, shoot, Pancakes. That okay? So I guess Lucky's kind of a an, an idiot racist, but um, but maybe that does that doesn't necessarily mean the game is right. But the game gave them like what was it, Ben Kameen Fwankmen or whatever. So yeah, it's it's all so much to unpack. Why in God's what? name is he over? Just just throw the if, damn if thing. we're really. <laughs> If we're really committed to this ridiculous uh, what? line of logic. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Chinese have seen birds. And rockets, I know. And possibly paper airplanes by now. Birds seem really the... the uh, the simplest thing here. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean... 
Yeah, also like fireworks, right? I mean, that's concept of like things shooting upwards. Oh shit, I'm convinced. <sighs> Stupid savages. Oh, and the, mo the, the mooks sat down. Yeah, well, no reason not to get back to their, what? I, uh, I'm not even gonna do it. I was, I'm like, I will say something ridiculously uh, offensive, and then I was like, no, it's probably not the right way to go there. <laughs> It's Poe's law, man. You can you can exaggerate all you want, and it'll still be taken seriously by someone. Nah. Scrubs and scrubs and scrubs. Of course, we have to have healing herbs. Wouldn't be a game without healing herbs. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be China in the uh, 40s without healing herbs, right? <laughs> it's a good thing everyone speaks English. Sort of. Yeah. Mostly. Even this broken English is a hell of a lot better than I speak Chinese. <laughs> Fair. Oh, fiddlesticks. Wow, that mortar and pestle is kind of... It's, it's kind of... It's got some snapback talk. I, it's like they've never read a comic book, and so they don't know how thought balloons work. Yeah. I mean, the funniest... Oh god, creepy stare. <gasps> shouldn't shouldn't names in uh, apostrophes go in the middle of your name? It's usually how that works, yes. No. Eligible bachelors. So yeah, I'm definitely starting to like hear his voice in more of a Bruce Campbell tone. Don't you read the papers? Yeah. This is my boom Oh, nice. I wonder if any of the Chinese is really something, or if it's just the sort of Chinese you see tattooed on dude bros. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Why, um... We haven't seen thought balloons for anyone except for us right now. Although they seem to be coming from... crotches and bits of furniture yeah. and... How do we know that? Is this like, is this the game just telling the player? Because if not, then uh, Lucky is really intuitive. How come all the ingredients are from Africa? It seems a little odd. It's it's kind of seems like the narration is just like. It's the game designers letting us know that they did some research on this time period. You know, it's like. Uh, billboards were discovered recently here. <laughs> this section should Wait. just be in Mandarin, I think. Oh, I guess I guess it is. Chi walked into the room. When did that happen? Uh, in the lower left. So Chi's with us, and in the lower left, you can choose who does the talking. Knock off that Mandarin nonsense. You used to be cool, man. <laughs> he actually has a good heart. Not really. Of China. Ooh. Roll credits. <laughs> There's Kate. You know, Ned, we're all winners in the Game of Thrones. Dragon <laughs> high fives him, freeze frame, and credits. have to freeze frame in the middle of the high five but also while laughing right <laughs> okay so yeah all right what this game needs is a scrappy do <laughs> i think lucky is supposed to be scrappy do <laughs> oh from the viewpoint of scrappy do that's that's meta man postmodern crap uh, the Meta Man, I was never very good at those games. <laughs> Leaf Man always killed me. Ding, ding, ding. Just a bunch of foreigners having to make the white people feel good. It's definitely thinking from the mortar and pestle. 
Yeah. At this point, we really, we kind of, we get the joke. It doesn't have to be explained to us each time. It's a very talky game. Yeah, I mean, it, it di that's kind of Dynamics' thing after the 3D flight simulators. Like, you know, all the Tex Murphy, that's the name that I couldn't think of earlier. All the Tex Murphy games are all about interviewing. Uh, I mean, in there you do actually play a private detective, so. If you go and hunt down... Um, okay, well, uh, seagull droppings. I was I was going to say, like... Um, you know, seven star plant things from the from the local forest. Mm. Well, I see our next bit of business is going to be get, collecting seagull droppings. I'm waiting for her to think like I don't need seagull droppings. I already have the what I need, but this will make him look foolish. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> her? No, he's talking to us now. Oh, see, we're outside. I, I really kind of wish that Lucky would have said something like, Damn straight, watch how many hot dogs I can put in him. That's his pickup line. <laughs> oh god, are we gonna are we gonna instruct Lucky about like how to be a good person? Are we preaching to the uh player as well, I wonder? I I don't I don't know. Oh, but then we're gonna teach him a ninja lesson. <laughs> yes, that's right. Nurse Kate Lomax. <laughs> I'm sorry for anger. Yeah. Yeah. Should be sorry. So Says thinks the wall. door. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. This is so. This is like some sort of. This is a. Oh god. This is like Shanghai Nights. Like some sort of buddy cop movie where we're learning about each other's culture and shit. Yeah. Or enemy mine. Throw a... Throw a paper airplane at him so he'll poop at us. Bird goo. So you... In game fashion, you probably need a container to collect it in. Yeah, or we have to feed it something to get it to come on. Because... The dock should be just covered in it. You've got a prune. Where did that happen? Oh, he's just got some stuff. When did he get a prune? I totally missed that. No, th that's Chi who has a prune. Oh. And she just has a prune. My though. favorite ninja treat. And he's got a ninja mask. That's pretty awesome. And chopsticks, of course. And a bag of boogers. <laughs> Looks like a brain. Oh, there we go. And he pooped. Someone animated that poop. That was their job. This time. Rather than... Oh, okay, yeah, no, you're right. We need something to pick it up with. You or a, a container. Scoop it up with that paper if you still had it. Ooh. Oh, is he just... He's just gonna do it. Scoop okay. It. Alrighty. Then, oh, this weird little eight-bit bird noise. <laughs> Lomaxes, shit, there she is. Oh no, I guess that's her dad. <laughs> I'm like, that didn't take long at all. Like the uh, wizard uh, cleaning the sign at the top of the screen back there. Hmm. Wait, okay, where's the thought balloon from her where it's going to be like, this is useless, I just have to... I, I, I didn't read Wu as a her, but maybe you're right. Oh, yeah, I mean, right? I, I, not that it really matters. In a bowl. Yeah. So drop it into the bowl. Well, I yeah, of course. How I mean, how else carrying? were you carrying in it? Sissy. Nice. Go ahead. Now you have to fight. <laughs> Isn't that the law? The man law? <laughs> oh, okay. No, I guess she was being straight up with us.
Well, I've got a love potion, but you'll need to go get me some ox uh, semen first. I was going to go for a shit, but I couldn't think of the word, so I just defaulted to semen. That says a lot about you. <laughs> Tonight's episode, by the way, brought to you by coffee. That That's me. Not me. For me, it is slightly flavored water. Uh, maybe the, the coffee and slightly favored, flavored water um, community will, will support us now that we've uh, name-checked them. Wow, the uh, she went really quickly from, like, you're stupid to being like, hey, you want a fake passport? And get your <laughs> fake passport. When that sub blew up my... Just gonna give oh, it... Oh, shit, she just gave it... That. God damn. This is not a good uh, business model. Hung Falo? Uh, I, I always assume there's a there's a bad joke in, in Chinese names and things like this, but so far they've been pretty straight. I, hung Falo, I think, I think that's... Yeah. Yes... Keeping the tone high here. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of the uh, Rob Schneider from uh, Chuck and Larry. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to use this character to speak our real minds, but have him in yellow face at the time. It's like they just kind of keep shooting themselves in the foot here. Yeah. Oh, here. Here's a map of Li Deng's fortress. What? That's handy. God damn, we we picked the right street to start on. Shit. I know. It, it's still not a good business model. Um, no. Also, here lots of guns. Okay. They like the intero bang in the text here too. I've noticed. Oh, I missed it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I remember now. Now, if we don't put those in our inventory, do we? Yeah, how does... I hope she just keeps giving us shit, man. It'll be funny if you have to like go through all these steps to get plot-related items, and then it op just opens a shop screen, and all that stuff was available anyway. Wondrous woo. We'll wish well. That that's that's a little alliteration there for anyone who happens to be reading out loud. <laughs> yeah, lucky it's all about you. <laughs> you can't have your culture while I'm around. Culture language for ninja use only. <laughs> yeah, it says that on the side of my meds too. <laughs> so we gotta be careful about who gets what because the things that are ninja use only Lucky can't use so they're kind of giving the impression that there'll be combat at some point yeah yeah I'm assuming that we're gonna get I mean I don't, I don't think it's I mean there's always some combat in these sorts of games right like, even King's Quest, you usually have to, like, fight off a bear or some shit here and there. Yeah, but it, it's sort of played out whether you have the right... Is he at the top of the screen, the wizard? I... I kind it. of. I was playing Gauntlet the other day. It just kind of made me think. Of... <laughs> okay, so... Is... Why does the plane look worse than the people? You know, like it—it it looks more horribly rendered than the people. I think the people look pretty good. I think something's off with the um, the rear wings prop. It looks like the foreshortening, foreshortening is wrong on it. Hmm. And why is the airport called Air China Line in English? Well, it, I think over to the right there, there's there's the uh, what kanji is that kanji or no kanji is Japanese called? isn't it uh shit I don't know yeah right where that mouse was there yeah. a second ago that's Language. I think that's the yeah very small is the actual Chinese uh characters so it's clearly a, an airport that that caters heavily to the 
English speaking flyboys. Right. Oh, who's that? <laughs> What's the caller? It's intimidating. And the eyebrows are a little intimidating, too. Yeah. It's kind of like a more serious Judge Reinhold. <laughs> Is there another kind? <laughs> I don't know what that joke meant. I... <laughs> Is there another kind of Judge Reinhold? A question for the ages. <laughs> it's deep, man. Sir James Ashbury. Quick, give him the hung fall low. Like, it's a terrible joke, but... He's thinking... Is this really gonna work? Like, what the hell was the point of getting the fake passport if... Or maybe this is one of those things where, um, um, like, like it's like Loom. Like, if you pick the wrong option, you just get routed back to the right one. Yeah, maybe. New. New. Oh, are they making fun of his accent? I, I guess. New. N-O, new. Yeah. Understand, you credness rouge. Rogue. <laughs> rouge. You credness rouge. <laughs> I. Wow, oh, he's. God. He's rude to the English as well. Yeah. I'm assuming the English because of his title. And bloody. So that's how we got through it, is by confusing him? I'm gonna be so irritating I get my way. That's like a two-year-old's. And the plane thinks. Works every time. Why are the thought bubbles so jagged? If it's a plane speaking, it has to be in plain voice. Works every time! <laughs> Is that how planes talk? Yes. Grappling hook. <laughs> no more description is needed when you're talking about a grappling hook. Just grappling hook. Crowbar. Getting, uh, getting... Inventorying the shit out of that crowbar. <laughs> Meanwhile, Miss Kate Lomax. Is this is this like a child? Is Lee Dang a child? Uh, I don't know. This is. This is like entering a weird area, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe the makers only knew so many Asian people and... <laughs> so, since this is getting ready to start like a new section, I say we maybe go ahead and break here right when the plane lands. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> oh. So that's 20,000 from our 200,000 has flown away. Got it. All right. Yeah, that's a funny well, we're going to come back and uh, start at Chengdu um, for the next session. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. Everybody have a good day. Yep.